morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's September 18th, 2019, and um, just want to review a couple things with you. Uh, yesterday's storm was quite amazing. You know those quick storms that you get in the summertime? They don't last very long. Uh, but they do some damage. I got some great footage of some uh, lightning strikes there. That's pretty nice. And that's, you know, that view is, is from my terrace. I mean, it's it, I, I watch all these storms come in. It's almost like being on the beach, you know. It's, it's like a little vacation in a way. Anyway, I figured I'd share it. I didn't see a lot of people didn't really look at it. I don't, I don't know why, but it's probably... You know you know what I was thinking with, with YouTube and the restrictions and stuff like that? Because originally they were helping us. I mean, they were. All right. I saw it. I would be, you know, a lot of the videos that I... On the request box on the side right there, they would have be flat earth videos and stuff like that. You know, I, I was... It's, I, I, you know, I mean, it, it's almost like... We, we can talk about flat earth for like 30 seconds, you know, and then we got to talk about recipes or dogs and cats, you know, playing or something like that. They go into flat earth. <laughs> I think I might have mentioned that. That's from Casino or one of, the, one of the mob movies that we all were indoctrinated with and everything like that. I put the videos of NASA up so everybody can see the trickery. Sorry I didn't edit it. It's actually the full version of it. Um, it's like 40 minutes long or something. I just wanted you to see how bad it was. Uh, you know, and they did that on purpose, guys. You know, they, they did it on purpose. It's probably why half the people wanted to watch I Love Lucy rather than watching the moon landing. They didn't give a shit. Today on a radio station, um, they do this little thing and they go around New York City and they just pick random people off the street and ask them questions and see how stupid everybody is. Nobody could answer any anniversary of the moon landing at all. And it ranged from age groups to, I mean, it was from like their 20s to the 50s, and 70s, I mean, all age groups. Nobody even knew what the date was of it. And you know what? If I was still indoctrinated, I probably wouldn't give a shit either, you know? So, I mean, that's really what it's like. That's how it is. That's how we've been brought up. Um, that's how well the indoctrination has taken place. They can put something out. And everybody will forget about it, and that's it. We don't need to go to the moon anymore because we've already been there. What's the point of going? Mars? I don't know. It's going to take them a while to figure that out. They're going to go maybe in another 100 years or something like that. You know, they're, they're, they're going. They're preparing for it. I'm getting notifications from NASA. Our next leap in humanity. <laughs> I'll give you a fucking leap. Okay. Um... Oh, and another thing too, you know, today I was getting my cup of coffee and, and my water, um, cause it's going to be another 98 degree day today. And this guy's buying these scratch off games in front of me and multiple lottery tickets, holding up the whole line. I know it happens to everybody, but I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking to myself, you know, he's losing all of these games. He's getting scratch off shit all over the counter. Um, most places now have a little sign saying put do your scratch off game somewhere else this deli for some reason or another doesn't and I was thinking to myself you know what they should do with these scratch off games since they're so trained and indoctrinated they should include a scratch and sniff scratch off game you know so if you lose at least you get a nice aroma of say cherry or or lemon or something like that I think I'd be an extra bonus for the uh, lottery player don't you think and don't forget about the lot, the flat earth lottery numbers. Every time the Powerball gets to these ridiculous numbers, half a billion, a billion, one, two, three, four, five, and the Powerball, six. Don't forget about those numbers. Those are special flat earth numbers to say, fuck you to the lottery system. Because we know it's all rigged. All of it. It's all there once again to make you think you have a choice. Just like the politicians, just like everything. It's been it's been made to think you have a choice. The games, the music, everything. To make you think you have a choice. 
entertainment for yourself. It's not entertainment. It's indoctrination. That's all it is. It's indoctrination. It's to keep you busy with life. No, don't think about flat earth. Oh, my God. If, God forbid, somebody should should think, you know, imagine if we lived on a place that was flat and we weren't moving and we were a stationary object. Imagine, let me think about that for a minute, that we were surrounded with ice walls and there, there's no way out and we're trapped in here. Imagine this. The regular person couldn't deal with that, so they have to be indoctrinated. They've got to keep them indoctrinated. Because God forbid if they found out the truth, if they went and did their fucking research and found out the truth, it would blow their mind. Some might go crazy. To actually think about that, all the lies that they've had, I mean, well, not, all the lies they've given us, we all believe everything that they said. This is imaginary land. Disneyland. Why was why was the president Walt Disney working with NASA? Why would they do that? Why does NASA buy the biggest consume the biggest helium any corporation in the world do? Well, perhaps there might be some helium inside the rockets. I said this in one of my videos, that it just wobbles when the when the rocket's going off. It's like wobbling there. <laughs> you know, the best way to explode something in the sky is if you fill it up with helium. It'll blow up into a billion pieces. There'll be nothing left. I used to think there'd be some sort of graveyard out in the ocean, but now, now I know there isn't because they just explode the fucking thing into a billion pieces. Little fragments here and there, but you'll never find anything. And they also restrict the boats out in the ocean, too, in certain areas when they do these launches. <gasps> I wonder why they do that. Oh, my. Jeez. Wow, the plot thickens, doesn't it, guys? It just gets heavier and heavier. The lies. They, they can't go on with this for much longer. It's, it, they really they just can't. I mean, they'll never be able to fake another moon landing, and they'll never be able to fake another Mars landing. They will make you think... And they will tell you that we're going, but we're not going anywhere for our 50th anniversary. I, I bet the big boys are probably setting up some great videos for this. I'm going to enjoy it. Because on Saturday, I think, yeah, well, I might I might put a video out on Saturday. But I, I really don't have much to offer except me talking. That's it. You know, I'm not really good at the editing part. And, you know, I'm starting to get the hang of it, but... It's very time consuming, but I, I know they're going to have some really good ones coming out. So enjoy them. Make sure you leave some comments on there. Um, all right. Well, I, I hope you enjoyed the videos. I just wanted to put, you know, just say hi to everybody. I thank you for uh, viewing. I thank you for uh, subbing to my channel. Let me be a part of your life.